in example 2.4 uh, which was using logical operators that is and operator there are two distinct advantages and they can be cited in favor of this program so there are two advantages which can be cited uh, in favor of this program a the matching or do i say mismatching of of the ifs with their corresponding elses so matching or mismatching of the ifs with their corresponding elses gets avoided since there are no elses in the program so uh, using and when we are using a logical operator that is and operator then there are no elses in program so there are only if in program so this is one of advantages so this is advantage a now advantage b in spite of using several conditions the program doesn't creep to the right so in spite of in spite of using several conditions the program is does uh, do not look or is not looking complex so that means it creeps uh, that means program in spite of using several conditions the program doesn't creep to the right so in the previous program the statements went on creeping to right that means a lot of statements were used that is if else statement were used in previous program so this effect becomes more pronounced as number of conditions goes on increasing so this effect becomes more pronounced that means programs becomes too uh, too much complex as we are continuously using if else statement so this is another uh, uh, advantage now the else else if clause so we are using the same program using else if clause so uh, we are using logical operator as well as else if clause now so else if ladder demo so this is program uh, for else if using else else if statements so first is main this is compulsory function which is used in uh, every program now int uh, m1 up to m5 and then per so uh, m1 to m5 and then pr per these are integers so they are uh, specified as integers now per is equal to m1 to m5 addition of all uh, m1 to m5 divided by per Uh, divided by phi actually now if per is uh, greater than or equal to 60 print a first division else if so if percent is greater than or equal to 60 then we print first division else if percent is equal to uh, percentage is greater than or equal to 50 then print f second division else if percentage is uh, greater than or equal to 40 else uh, print f third division else print fail so here we are using else if clause or else if ladder you can note that uh, note that this program reduces the identification of the statements in this case every else is associated with ifs its previous if so uh, in this program every else is associated with its previous if so uh, it redu it is reducing the uh, identification of the statements so it is uh, else if ladder the last else goes to work only if all the conditions fail even in else if ladder the last else is optional so uh, else and if are connected in this uh, else if ladder program note that the else if clause is nothing different it is just a way of rearranging the else with if that follows this would be evident if you look at following code so else if program is same uh, but it is rearrangement of uh, the if and else's So this rearrangement can be uh, can be noticed with the uh, following programs. So if i is equal to is equal to 2, print f with u, else if 
j is equal to is equal to 2 print f all the time so this is one way of writing now uh, if i is equal to 2 is equal to is equal to 2 print f with you else if j is equal to is equal to 2 print f all the time so uh, program on the left hand side and right hand side is uh, same but the arrangement is different that is uh, else if written else if is written so arrangement here is different another place where logical operators are useful is when we want to write a programs for comp complicated logics that ultimately boil down to only two answers so uh, another place where logical operators are useful when we are writing a more complicated programs so they are useful otherwise else if statements uh, can work for us but there are some program which are uh, which have more complicated logics so there uh, in those programs else if uh, logical operators are uh, useful